everybody and welcome to video 5 no sorry video 6 but the first video now on the new Mike's Retro Tech channel before I was uploading videos to my own personal channel and I felt that it wasn't really appropriate anymore to have personal videos on with <coughs> my Retro Tech content so, thank you for subscribing to this new channel if you've subscribed. If not, please hit the subscribe button. Like all the videos that have already been uploaded. The ones that I've uploaded now to fill this channel have been recorded over the last six weeks. With uh, my attempt to do one video every week. So, this video, <clears throat> a very quick one. I don't know what really to do for this video so I thought I'd probably show you one of my Atari STs as you can see here. Now the more observant of you will see if I can show you that that the top is coated black. Now I've coated it painted it black to make it look like a video sorry not a video a picture of a brand new Atari ST concept that I saw on the internet. Now I will put a picture of it, oh where are we, up here, just so you can see what I mean, and um, hopefully I will get an Atari sort of looking like that in a few months time when I've got a chance to fix this up. But what I will do is I will show you what this actually is. <clears throat> Let's move that out of the way for the moment. So this is an Atari STFM case. Now as you can see, it's very yellow and it needs some retro bright. Which I will do as part of this full refurbishment of this Atari ST. Um, I've got some B Blonde, some 30 strength and some 45 strength. And once, this is Christmas at the moment, so once Christmas is over and we start getting some nice hot sunny weather, huh, hot in the UK, yeah right, um, we get some nice sunny weather, Ooh. I will uh, do a retro bright session on this keyboard um, and also spray paint the bottom of the case so it's not grey. Now I got this case and keyboard fully working from the Facebook group for the Atari ST users, now I can't remember the guy I got it off but he was a very nice chap. So it me really cheap and I explained to him what I was going to do with it and he said he'd got one spare, so that was fine. So what I am going to do with it, as you'll probably want to find out, if I can take the lid off, oh, is, oh, there's the microphone shadow. Oh, look at that. I really should take that microphone shadow off. It looks a bit uh, rude, doesn't it? Oh, well, there we go. That's better. So there we have it. There is another power supply, third-party one, with a three-pin plug. So earth isn't connected, just ground, um, just live and neutral. And then here is an external SATA controller because I had the view of, under the keyboard... fitting a SATA hard drive but this thing only pumps out 0.5 amp, uh, 0.5 amps no 500 milliamps not 0.5 amps 500 milliamps so it's just about enough to power a Raspberry Pi but through this I get the little lightning icon in the top right which you'll understand why in a minute when I show you that I've got this here, which is a SATA to CF card interface with 16 gigs of extra storage and a Raspberry Pi 3. Now the cool thing about this is that it's connected to this, which is, if I can show you that without the microphone shadow, so if I can zoom in a bit maybe that might help, there we go. That 
is an Arduino Leonard compatible board from China. I think I paid about £2.50 for it. And I used details from a guy called Kevin Pete. And I will put his details up here as well for you in the corner so you can go to it. And what this does, this interfaces here with the end of the Atari keyboard cable into the ports on the Arduino and there's a special piece of software that you upload using the IDE that converts this via that into USB and then that works as a USB keyboard for the Raspberry Pi and then on the Raspberry Pi I have got Atari which I'm hoping to get all my files onto this external storage now at the moment as I say this isn't powerful enough to run that and the Raspberry Pi at the same time and the keyboard Arduino so that's the issue we've got at the moment is that it runs but it's not very stable but at the back of this we've got HDMI out to here ignore this this is a real Atari ST I'll be reviewing that later on and then we've got USB which I've got a tiny little Microsoft portable travel mouse which works well but I'm hoping to put this cable under here to put the USB in there maybe two USBs so we've got under keyboard mouse like we do on the real Atari and then also there is another USB here which goes to the USB out of this device doesn't really work as well as I hoped and then this device here has the power coming to it from here and SAT cable with power and then that what does that do that one that one powers the Pi that one's an external USB as I've said before so we do have one USB free and this with it being a Raspberry Pi 3 has Wi-Fi so the whole device is internet updatable and FTPable blah 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 so that's the project that I've been working on for the last few months it would have been finished but um, we did move house in oh start of May 2018 I know it's December, but, you know, I've been busy, we've been on holiday, we've, oh, we've done all sorts, it's ridiculous. And I've started doing this weekly video, if I can, and it's not looking good at the moment, because I've already missed a day or two with this. This should have been uploaded Sunday, and it's now Tuesday, so I'm a couple of days behind. I apologise for that, guys, but, you know... Work must for the moment pay the bills and I've been working away on a customer site which takes me a long time to get home, an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back. I don't finish till 5.30 so after I've had tea I just can't be bothered to be fair. Um, Got to be honest if not anything else. But this, brilliant, it actually works quite well even down to the LED there working but the only thing that doesn't work is the floppy drive LED because of course there's no floppy drive with it. Now I could buy, I've seen online, an Arduino floppy drive emulator which actually allows you to plug a physical floppy drive into the Arduino and it emulates the, the floppy um, drive controller which means it will physically read and write Atari, Amiga, MSX floppy disks if you've got three inch flop, three and a half inch floppy disks in your MSX it will also read 3 inch disks from the Amstrad CPC, the Tatung Einstein, uh, the Spectrum, the, um, the PCW8568 or whatever it was, the um, green screen word processor that had 3 inch disks. Uh, so I might get one of those but I don't know yet. But then also, before that, I want to block these holes up, make proper switches, make proper back, back plates for those because I don't like it hanging out there. And I would also like to put MIDI in and out if I can on here 
to see whether or not I can actually get it to control and talk to some external MIDI devices. Um, yeah, so there we go. So that I call the Frank Enstein because it's a, an ST and it's been Frankensteined. Um, it's a great name. I would love a silver badge to go on there, a bit like the Falcon 060 badges that you see on eBay and the Atari 4160 STE badges that you see as well. Um, maybe I can find sort of a company that will print one of them for me, but it, it will be expensive. But I think this is a great way of recycling an old case that was not being used at all and to make use of a spare Raspberry Pi 3 that I've just got hanging around because I have many, many, many Raspberry Pis 3s, 1s, 2s, 0s, 0Ws, all doing various things. Webcams, time-lapse cams. I've got one, which I will show you in a minute, in a Picade. But that's another review in another video, which I will do, because it's an amazing piece of kit. Um, and I have the Hand of God. No, not the Hand of God, because I don't believe in that. The Robot Hand of whatever. And that's a robot hand like that, that's controlled by six servos and a Raspberry Pi. That's pretty cool. Not retro, but something I like to fiddle with. Um, I have... What else have I got? No, that's about it. I think I've got, I've got four or so Raspberry Pis, all spare, waiting to be used. Now, that may be one video for my electronics style side of this channel um, maybe put some retro emulators on it I fancy seeing whether or not we can get a Wii emulator working because I know my Pi K doesn't have one of those on but we'll have to see not very retro technology wise but retro with what it's playing I guess anyway enough waffling for now this is the Frank Enst Ein, and that is what I will be working on for the next couple of weeks hopefully if not Probably over Christmas. I don't know yet. It depends what commitments I've got. Anyway, that's my video for tonight. Very quick, very brief, I'm, I'm sure. But thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. Leave a comment. But please subscribe to the channel. If this is a brand new one attached to my personal channel, I've yet to have any subscribers. And I would love to have a few subscribers. You know, however many it takes. 10 million, oh, that'd be no, yeah, right, okay. Her, um, five, like my previous channel, will be good. There we go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Good night.